I'm at uh, Bergstrom Hyundai in Appleton, looking at what they have on the lot. What I've been finding so far, walking to a few lots, is uh, everybody's overstocked on uh, mid-size SUVs. Hey, there's a sold one. Somebody made a sale. Hyundai was always uh, a little lower price point. So I thought maybe they'd have some better options. Mid thirties for SUVs though, that's mid forties. That's not really uh, cheaper than anybody else. I mean, 35 compared to a Mercedes or something, but the Jaguar. Looks like a uh, E540. I remember the Santa Fe being like much less expensive than some of the alternatives. I mean, they've made them really nice, but you're not gonna buy it because it's uh, the less expensive option anymore. 23 miles to the gallon, nothing special there, 50 grand. I mean, very nice, but uh, not budget friendly. But a lot of the uh, brands don't have any cars. So you're getting down close to 20. Better than uh, most of the competitors can say. So, I mean, this is something you might buy based on price. A little higher. Oh, there you go, hit 30,000. Sonata. That's a hybrid. What does a Sonata hybrid get from mileage? Nothing to 47. And these have uh, very distinctive rear ends. The back of the, uh... oh, look at that Ionic 6. Looks like an old Citroen. But 103 miles to go, but 50 grand. Mostly made in Korea. Look at the stock tag, it's all faded. 2024, though, at least it's not 2023. 36,000. All right, 21,000. See, this is uh, like closer to affordable, but another Elantra. I've seen some of these uh, Elantras um, and Sonatas um, for sale with uh, damage, like they've been in an accident. There's like very little damage and they total them out. So they must be expensive to fix or just cheaper to replace, I don't know. 36 miles to the gallon, 23 new on the sticker. Stand here though, I mean, this thing isn't even head high, or this isn't even chest high. So it feels like a small car. Some more Ionix looks like. The uh, Citroen esque back end. Oh, maybe the right there. Flush handles. I think Tesla did that, and everybody had to jump on board, unless somebody else, unless Tesla copied somebody else that I don't remember. I've seen one new car for under 20, and that was a uh, Mitsubishi. This one needs to bring back, like, the, uh, I don't know, like the Subaru Brat or like a Santa Cruz, but like a uh, regular cab. A really inexpensive pickup. All right, 23. This is really short. Kind of reminds me of a little car, but a little bigger than that. A little rough. 31 miles to the gallon, 25, new on the sticker. Menu. Kind of looks like decent transportation. All right, check out the Kona. Definitely different styling. Almost 32. Oh, look at that headlight wrap. It's just like a bar, Cylon Centurion or something. Much for Santa Cruz here. Okay, this one's used. I mean, pick up that. I don't know what you'd get back there, but maybe it's less materials. 35,000 for a used 2024, so it can't beat that used. And I don't see a sticker to say the mileage. Can't be a lot though. All right, still looking for a bargain. 
Are there any bargains to be had? Keep going back to Mitsubishi at less than 20 grand. And definitely a small car, but I mean, if you, I don't know, if you're buying a car, you want new, you end up with smaller, less options. I, you know, I'd like to have more to say, but firmly middle of the road, I guess. Now, is this new? 26 grand seems like it's uh, less expensive for Santa Cruz. That other one was more than that. It was used. Yeah, this one's new. You know, bed liner or bed cover. Well, it looks like it's got the uh, little in-bed trunk like the... Uh, um, Honda. Uh, 30,000 all wheel drive, 23 miles to the gallon. Not a horrible option. All right, let's keep walking. All uh, right, next door to the Mazda lot here, but this. Oh, the Hyundai lot's basically just full of SUVs with the uh, front row cars. Maybe they think those will sell better. That's all I got for uh, Berks from Hyundai in Appleton.